Hello, this is Randy Schooneman from Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is April 4th, 2017, and we're out taking a look at a main line at uh, 5018 North Stevens Street in Spokane, Washington. Um, right now we're looking at a uh, sewer trough that runs in the alley between uh, uh, Stevens and Washington. We've got about an 80-foot main line. Looks like it was put in in 43. And we're going to start pulling back so that we can see the condition of this line. Uh, as you can see, the city sewer trough is concrete. And right here, it switches over into tile. Uh, this is a ceramic tile material, very, very durable. Uh, starting to pull back here. What we're going to be looking for is any grade issues, any separations. Right here at 75 feet, I had a, uh, a little bit of an issue getting my camera to jump this separation. You can see where the, uh, uh, the pipe has settled here over the last uh, uh, 60, 70 years or so. And uh, we've got just a little teeny lip there, even in spite of the offset, especially being on the bottom. Uh, it's such a big drop, I don't think it's anything that's going to give you any huge issues. If it was on a more lateral run, I'd be very concerned about it. Right here we're pulling back through a couple transitions. Uh, before I go much further, I have another little separation here, but it's off to the side, so it's not really going to be anything that will inhibit the flow of uh, uh, solids and fluids from the house out to the sewer. Uh, just for a, a little bit of a heads up, the uh, aspect-wise, the bottom of the pipe is in the uh, uh, left-hand side of the screen. It will always be identified by where the bright light is located. That's a little harder to identify. I have a ball on here to help me make the uh, jump on that little lip there and get out to the sewer. Coming up on 70 feet right here. A little minor separation here. This is uh, less of one to worry about because you can see the uh, bottom of the pipe on the left, lower left corner of the screen. It kind of stair steps down so nothing that's really going to inhibit the flow of any material through this line. Uh, another hub here. So far we've got really good grade. I don't see any standing water in the line. We've done a couple of toilet flushes. Again, this is ceramic tile. Very, very fortunate. This is uh, uh, probably the, the last of the houses in this area that use tile. There's a, a predominance of a material called Orangeburg, which is miserable stuff. So this is really encouraging to see. We're here at 60 feet, still continuing to pull back. We're working through a clean out in the laundry room. Uh, aspect wise, the bottom of the pipe as we're pulling through these elbows is shifted to the bottom of the screen now. Nice beautiful seam right there. Another seam there as well. bottom of the pipe is now moving to the lower right hand part of the screen and the minute I said that it shifted to the bottom. We just passed the 50 foot mark and we're continuing to pull back. Bottom of the pipe is now in the right hand, lower right hand corner of the screen. Yeah, really nice looking hub there. seeing any root intrusions. Uh, bottom of the pipe is now shifting a little bit more to the right hand side of the screen. Lower right specifically. Now it's on the far right hand side of the screen on the bottom. past the 40 foot mark a little bit ago and continuing to pull back. Uh, now because of the bends in the line, the bottom of the pipe is now in the upper right hand corner. Coming up on 30 feet here pretty quickly. Bottom of the pipe now moving closer to the upper right hand corner of the screen. Sorry about all the back and forth movement with the ball on this. 
I don't always get a good view of the pipe. Just a little bit of debris accumulation there at the bottom of the pipe. Nothing to get super worried about. And that's at about 30 feet there. We're continuing to pull back. Bottom of the pipe is now on the top of the screen, still in ceramic tile. Coming up on 20 feet here pretty quickly. Here's 20. looking hub right there. What you're seeing there in the upper portion of the screen is actually towards the bottom part of the pipe. Uh, when they put these together they would wrap a material around the pipe and the bell section with what's called oakum and they would pound it in with hammers and special tools and it looks like we have just a little bit of oakum sitting there that's been there for uh, since the house was built and right here we transition into iron so we're within about uh, three to five feet of the foundation wall in the backyard everything under the house should be iron or uh, ABS if it was newer or remodeled but nice transition right there. I frequently see a separation at that portion. Oh, excuse me. I take that back. We are still in tile. My bad. We're at 10 feet right here. Continuing to pull back. Yep, that is tile. My apologies. And here is where we have the iron, right here. A little bit of oakum there on the bottom that you can see where they sealed it. Stair steps down. It's a little bit offset, but I don't see any earth coming through at the top of it. Overall looks like a good seam. And now we're in iron. You can see the rust material, so this would be within the uh, uh, three to five feet of the outside foundation wall and we're seeing just real normal looking black iron pipe here uh, that is probably what we're looking at there is probably the drain from the washing machine and the vent up to the kitchen drain continuing to pull back and I can hear my camera starting to come up through the clean out And right there, the bottom of the pipe is on the left-hand side of the screen, and right above you can see where the uh, sewer, or the uh, line from the house drops down. And we are out. Here's the clean-out that we're working through on the uh, uh, kind of by the floor in the uh, laundry room in the basement again this is Randy from Bulldog Rooter today's date is uh, April 4th 2017 and that will conclude this video inspection of the main line thank you very much for choosing Bulldog Rooter